Koya and Nina, and I know I totally mis misspoke that word. <laughs> Koya and Nina, thank you. Um, when we uh, got there, Angela and I had to take an adult class, and in that class we learned what, what Koya means. We had thought it was fellowship, and so Angela and I looked at each other, and the first words out of our mouth was food. <laughs> fellowship meant food, as most Baptists uh, believe, but actually, <laughs> Actually, the word means a very special relationship with your Lord and Savior. And once you have that special relationship with your Lord and Savior, all your relationships with other believers are deeper, stronger, and more secure. Amen. And that's what this youth group was taught. And just to let you know um, some of the things that they experienced. Um, There were 59 first-time believers that accepted Christ at this conference. Amen. 852 that recommitted their lives. 14 that decided that they wanted to get baptized at their churches when they got home. Three that were called to the missions. Four that were called into ministry. There were several other ones that um, chose not to go forward during that time because it's very intimidating when you've got thousands, thousands of children and they ask you to come in front of the stage. It's, it's heart-wrenching to see um, their fear. But this youth group, six out of the 11 went forward and recommitted their lives. They recommitted their lives to Jesus. One of the teenagers went forward to pray with some of them because there were not enough adults at the conference to be one-on-one. -on -one. There were one adult to every ten kids, which is a lot when you're trying to minister to those children. Um, the four that stayed back, they talked about um, becoming baptized and prayed for the ones that went forward. Praise God. The, a lot of the kids also um, had to take mission trips while we were up there. Um, 30 of the kids witnessed to um, adults just randomly on the street. They picked up 180 bags of trash on the beach. They um, were shuttled to a, a local hospital where they got to read to 50 of the children. And they spent numerous hours in the women's shelter and in food shelters stocking shelves for them. And we just want to say once again, thank you very much. And please, please be in prayer for all these youth. Thank you.